Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And if things look different, that's because they do. And they actually look really different for me too. For the longest time, I've been playing the game at 16 by 9 uh, because there was something about the the refresh on the this particular resolution, and OBS wouldn't record it. I could actually play it. 1080, 1080 but I wouldn't be able to record it. I'm also trying to go with 60 frames a second now. Um, the lag could help a little bit better, but it's not too bad. Uh, but today I got a little bit of a project I want to try to do. It's actually not my idea, it's actually somebody else's idea. I'm trying to get a hold of them to find out who it is so I can give proper credit. Uh, I will update the title of this video to give them credit and give them proper attribution in the description as well but uh, yeah if you haven't seen it if you're new to the, the series I have a inventory system here it's all controlled with using hover pads to uh, basically lift up the conveyor connectors to break the connection uh, what it originally was is I came up with this idea here it was basically this thing here where I was using a conveyor connector uh, in an L shape L shape conveyor sorry uh, with a storage container if you're gonna use a con conveyor connectors you have to have a storage container to get them to a function but some uh, a viewer saw this and actually redesigned it for me and came up with this idea and so what happens is when the hover pad gets power the arm lifts up and it breaks the connection when it loses power draws back down then someone else came up with an idea for a daylight sensor and this was actually a really really good idea it's basically the exact same thing except it doesn't use the conveyor connectors it's using switchboards and the switchboards they disconnect and reconnect at 40 blocks I think it was yeah so I was gonna set this one up but this is all set up for the conveyor connectors so we'll head off into the, the testing grounds here and Go check, uh, go set one up. Now I'm gonna just lay out a strip of base foundation just because I know they're eight blocks long and it's easy to count because uh, switchboards are supposed to reconnect at 40. And I, I tell you, everything just looks so different to me. And yeah, uh, currently we do have a bit of a thing that uh, the team is investigating and that is that structures aren't unloading. Uh, if I were to fly over towards the coaster right now, which is over there, the lab will not undraw, it will not unload, it will st permanently stay there. So that means if I went down to the south and the north or to the mines, that those mines and those miners would load up and stay loaded the entire time I came back here, which is all the way here, down to here, and from here to here, which isn't too far, but even then, it would draw, uh, you know, have everything even like the wrecks and the monuments and everything loaded which you know isn't b bad because coming back to this area sometimes can cause some lag but you know what I mean too many things loaded at once especially big things like this and we could have some serious problems so I'm gonna actually just go right off of this one so let's go ahead and get some base foundations uh, I should know where they are by now uh, yeah we don't need a container uh, let's put a couple of little blocks down and we'll start going with the foundations, which is two. Yeah. Now, they did have a bit of an update. But I don't know if I have anything I can show you here. Uh, stack sizes have increased up to 100 now. And uh, they apparently adjusted the transparency on the, the blocks, but it doesn't really help much when it's right in your face. So I need 40 blocks. So one. Uh, well, I should go six. Two. I'm gonna go up here. That's actually safer. I almost got killed doing that once. Uh, don't place a block above your head. Three. Uh, come on, one more. Two more. Oh, that's that's uh, that's in the wrong spot. Let's see here. Come on. Okay, it's uh, one, two, three, four, and two more. Five and six. All right. Now for the colors. Since this is going to be our timer, I'm just going to have all this red. And then our actual sensor will make yellow. So, switchboards, as far as, unless it's been changed, will only co will connect up to 40. So I place one there, 
and place one here. That's technically 40 blocks from here to there. Actually, not 41. It's, uh, actually, let's just test this. Put a couple of them down. And we'll just connect it to whichever one we can. So basically all you're doing is you're using a solar panel to catch the sun. Uh, when the solar panel gets actually gets sun, it powers the hover pad, breaking the connection. Or, uh, it's, uh, yeah, breaking the connection. So it, so it connects there, it connects there, and it connects there. They must have changed it. What's going on here? This is different. Okay, yeah, it's not connecting. Alright, so... They must have changed it. Hang on. Okay, I was right. So, yeah, we'll connect right up to here. So that's connected to the one at the very end. Uh, we're not actually connecting it to that because that's just going to be where our other connection is. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way, that out of the way, that out of the way. And throw a couple of blocks down. Uh, let's see, okay, so we'll put it on this side of the foundation. Three. And we need a rotor. And again, i got to start using these hot bars. I don't know why I don't. Uh, what else do we need? We got a hover pad, switch forward, that's it. That's all we need. Oh, we need a solar panel too. And we'll just go with the flat one. The standard flat solar panel. Alright, where's that rotor? Five? No. Nope. Four. Uh, and that actually does have to move over. Uh, it doesn't really matter how, how high you make this. You could have one block down or flat if you really want. Um, need uh, telepathic block selection. You don't have to look for the hotkey or if, you know which hot, where you need the hot, which hotkey you need. Just think about the block and have it. And because I am going to be dropping this down, or it's going to be under gravity, I want to make sure that's not going to go anywhere I don't want. Just going to wait for it to turn. No, it's not going to, so we'll just place it on top like that, use gravity to our advantage, and you should be connected there and there. Now oh, let's get a switchboard on the end. No, we need two more blocks, I think. One. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, if I don't, if I don't have it in the right spot it either won't connect or it won't disconnect so you do have to be careful about it and I think that's gonna work go ahead and fill all this in no 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 I'm not out of plating it's impossible it's good thing I got my fire here so yeah, all I gotta do is just uh, grab some more plates, grab some more of those just in case because I will need them eventually. Uh, it is a little big, uh, so the only thing about this disconnection feature is you do need a bit of a space for it. I have done some projects with it, not a whole lot, but I have done some stuff. Let's actually change the color of this, just for reference. Yeah, sure, we'll get, the, get this one as well. Alright, so now we just place a solar panel down. And place that there. And... Now we need a hover pad. What do you mean you're not going to go there? Oh, are you serious? Hang on. Okay, make note of that. Put the hover pad on first. Uh, if you have anything close to this, either side of it, it will not actually... A light to place it. it has, technically, it has to have one block gap. When you build it, doesn't mean anything else. Doesn't mean anything after that. So we just go ahead and connect this one to the hover pad. Set the hover pad to hover mode. Oh, wait for that auto save. So that's what's going to happen. 
So if I turn this back onto grounded, I have to let that drop so I can connect this to there. Now, if let's put, let's go ahead and put a beacon down. I haven't actually built a beacon yet, I don't think. Not here, anyways. Actually, I have. They were counterweights. I'm gonna go ahead and connect that to that. And then we go over here and we just connect, let's say. Uh, what's that beacon actually use? Hang on a second here. 100, okay. We'll build a battery. Just be cheaty about it. Alright. Just like so, because when you build the battery, they're fully charged. Let me just connect that to that. So that, as you can see, the beacon is lit up. Now, if I turn this to hover mode, it disconnects. And you can see about that, that space, and it's still technically connected to it. So I might actually have to put... Uh, I might have to actually offset it. If I go back too far, it might not connect. So if you do it this way... And that's because it's not getting enough power. <gasps> uh, come on. Okay, stop. Okay. And go like that. And we'll take it off of that one. Take it off of that one. And that one connects to there. Okay. Now let's try this again. Come on, son. Where are you? Oh, uh, that's why. Okay, well, let's do this differently then. Just the sun doesn't want to cooperate today and it's getting dark, that's why. So we'll go ahead and do this, and we'll do that. Oh, I need two of them. My mistake. It's been a while since I've used hover pads on batteries. Yeah, I should need two of them. Or you can get three, two hover pads on three batteries. I need a switchboard here as well. And... Connect, connect, connect. So now, as you can see, it's still connected apparently. Oh yeah, that's why. It's lifting up. I'm gonna try in the corner and I'll bring it right back. Okay, this is a good sign. I'm connecting that corner one up to here. It's not connecting. So if I go ahead and switch that off, connects. So now you can see you can actually see the the wire go white as it dis as it disconnects. I go ahead and switch it back on. And there you go. So a daylight sensor. So it basically you would have uh, the hover pad running off a solar panel because the solar panel actually produces 250 as long as you get in proper day or you could just get two of them whatever depending on how long you want to run for so there we go uh, I like I said I will give credit to whoever showed me this this is a great idea I might come up with a couple of ideas for this one to be quite honest it's an interesting one but anyways I thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed if it did leave me a like and I'll see you in the next one later